guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is bell joshua here on this channel i talk about faith relationship productivity lifestyle friendships and everything so today's video please just ignore my my air and my airline because i don't know i can't i can't i don't know what's going on here i don't know for 2021 we hope so as we have a crown next year we hope that this place gets better so i'd like to share with you some of my favorite things of 2020 i saw someone play that big that game on a timeline and i decided to try it here as well so yes my favorite first question is i came with two books just for people two books to show how studious i am to create this video <laughs> so my favorite person is of 2020 trust me my family i'm not even joking no cap my parents my siblings my extended family members my cousin, my spiritual parents, my pastors, my favorite person is like this year in June, the way I've been so close to my spiritual parents and their family has just been so amazing. It actually held me strong this year because I was this close to exploding. So holding them and being close to them this year has actually been of much benefit to me than if I was not close to them. And also my friends, when I say my friends, my church members, my Herald Nation, my office people have chosen my favorite this year. And that brings me to the next question, favorite places this year. Just guess, just guess. Let me give you three seconds. Have you guessed? Which place do you think I visited most this year? Aside my house. My house has been my number one favorite place because for a long time I was in the house. During a long time I was in the house. Before I got a job, before I got something to do, I was in the house. My house was a favorite place. Next is my church. <laughs> oh my god, I spent a lot of time in church. Like, 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 next rated, next favorite place after my house. Then, where else did I go to this year? I said, I didn't really go anywhere this year. Shan, that in actually my favorite place. Let me tell you, I did not even go to at all. I hated going out. I was always getting worked of going to World Bank. Standing on ATM cards, going to bank to rate. I don't think I entered the banking hall this year. I said to send money to somebody. I try not to have any bank issues. I have one bank issue that I've not settled and I've still not gone. Like bank, Jesus. Banks are stressful. So my favorite place is my church, my house, work. And I think that's like the places I've said most this year. If I'm going out to that, it's reserved once in a while. And I always like to take the food home. I do not like sitting out to eat. So yes. Then next question is Oh 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 that first place I went to this year is Kachu Island. It's in Aquaibon State. Okorete. Like man, I didn't know a place like that existed. I'll try to insert a picture of it if I still have go. I only went there once and it was like a favorite place. Like I was I, I even now I'm craving to go there but Man, the journey down there, and I cannot go alone. It's just like mostly that in your house. Thinking about it, I've not actually gone anywhere these past two days. I've actually been in there in my house for like two days, and I've not gone out of this compound. How bad can we get? I plan to do better in 2021. But I'll not be shouting God when from inside our houses. My favorite movie this year. Come now, come now. I wrote it inside the book for people. It's not that bad, but one of my favorite movies this year, I broke them down into different classes. So my favorite Nigerian movie this year, I say I go into Nigerian movies a lot, but sometimes, like once in a month or once in three months, I just want to watch one Nigerian movie to just calm down all the things that's taking in. Um, you don't have to, my favorite movie this year is actually 2020 movie, do you get? Because it, we didn't have a lot of 2020-2021 movies because of the fact that, um, there was lockdown, but I still watched some movies and I liked. And that there are some that I didn't like. See that movie Olu Tori, I I really don't understand. I didn't like the ending. Elevator Baby was nice, but I felt like I was shouting too much. It was nice. I feel right twenty twenty Nigerian movies. They're not twenty twenty movies, but my favorite Nigerian movies I saw this year and really liked. Your Excellency, like man. That movie was good. I think I gave me acted that part so well. And her husband, the flirting man's real name now, was so good. 
So your excellency, the setup, I think the setup was acted by Adeshua Itumi and some other persons, but the setup the setup was very good. Sugar Rush was very good as well. Your excellency, the setup, sugar rush. Gaslight was interesting actually. Gaslight, I mean for Nigerian movies, Gaslight was actually a very great movie. And then you know which other one? Citation was actually a very good movie. I really liked it, and I'm sorry, I my mistake. I would have said um, Omogeto, but I've still not seen Omogeto. I'm supposed to see it last week, but Procrastination, I still have not seen it. I had a very good movie, so probably when I see it, I'll do a review on it. Now, that's for Nigerian single movies. Nigerian series, or should I say YouTube series, I saw this year, and I was in love with and I was in awe. And I was amazed that like Nigerian series actually I really liked. Uh, um, if you've not watched this particular series, I think there's some series that I started and I knew like man, go for it. I'm not doing this. But there's one that oh my god, the men's club. Jesus, you've not seen the men's club. Oh my god, the men's club featuring um Badge Adebule, I think, Jeremy Ayola, Ayola, um. What was this guy's name? Larry. What was Larry's name in real life? Larry and Tayo. I'm trying to remember their name in reality, but I can't remember. And then also featuring um, Mimi Chaka. Is that her name? Very nice movie. Like the men's club. Very nice movie. I think my favorite. Ayala's girlfriend. I think my favorite actress. It features this person as well. What was the name of this girl? Can you get in transit? Oh my Jesus. I forgot. Jasmine. Her name is Jasmine. She played the role of Jasmine in the men's club. I'm trying to remember her real name. I can't seem to remember in this particular instance. The men's club. And it's something that they just gave us a Christmas um episode. Like two Christmas episodes. Like, I'm just like, thank you guys. This is the best thing I've ever seen at this particular time. So yes. um. The men's club, the second skinny girl in transit. Like this movie has been going on for how many years now? It's just an amazing series. Skinny girl in transit keeps topping my table every single time. Like Abimbola Craig, Ayola, Ayola, Abimbola's mom. These people just they're just it for me. Moti Koko, <laughs> the house girl. She's just amazing. Yes. Another um, is there any other Nigerian series I watch? A Z, A. Um, I think or dash then Z Z E D. His name is Aziz in the movie, but he was giving his name A Z by one of his customers, something like that. It's a nice series actually. That's for Nigerian series that actually watched this year and really liked. Now let's go to American movies because your girl likes American movies a lot, a lot, a lot. Some American movies I watched, like I said, you don't have some 2020 movies. I watched The Banker. I think The Banker is 2020, but it's such an amazing movie. Amazing movie. I watched Knives Out. Knives, I wanted to do a review on Knives Out, but I kept on postponing, and right now there's no point anymore. Knives Out is a 2019 movie. Like you need to go and watch this movie. Knives Out. Knife. Plural of knife. Knives Out. Outside. Knives Out. It's a movie that is full of suspense. It could just keep you wondering what happened next. Knives Out is such an amazing movie. Trust me, trust me. Knives Out. Um, which one did I mention? The Banker. Angrily Ever After. Angrily Ever After is a black American movie, but it's so good. Like, I have a thing for black American movies. They just get me in a subtle way. Like, I just can't explain. And I think also the actress that played the role, the lead role there. I like that as well. I can't remember her name now, but Angrily Ever After is a very nice movie. Apparently, did I have the strength to write the titles out in the description box? I'll try, I'll try. The Witches. Jesus. I think The Witches is a 2020 movie. The Witches is such a darling movie. As in, I think last night I want to just. Uh, the Witches is a very good movie. Birds of Prey, B I R D S of Prey, P R E P 
P-R-E-Y-T. Birds of Prey is a very nice movie as well. Love and Monsters. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mm. That's why I'm doing it. It's a very nice movie. Birds of Prey, literally. Love and Monsters. I watched it three around the same time. And the 2020 movie that we are It's very nice. Super nice. Super nice. Super nice. Then Extraction. Extraction is a very nice movie as well. If you like action movies, movies that are serious, intelligent, military, do this, like movies that will keep you wondering, like the betrayal, complications, that's the movie, and it's so good. And I know the night in Bangkok, but the movie was just too. Mm, they have a lot of characters, it was just like it was like every, all, all the scenes, all the drama, all the acting just had to do with the visit to Bangkok that night. I just was like, oh, it's like it's interesting. Just watch till the end, but it's just there. Series I started this year and I really loved. I didn't say that the series started this year. I said I started watching the series this year and I loved them. Money Eyes. Oh my God, I watched it in one to four and I was like, please watch the end of this. I feel like they should have ended in season four. This is the one to three or one to four. I can't remember now, but I'm just like, okay, so you. You've carried out your father's wish, you've done the bank robbery, you're currently carrying out your brother's wish during the um, robbery of your yeah, yeah, brother. And now I'm wondering, will you come and tell us next that you now now you have your own eyes that you want us to do? Because I'm here, I'm here, I'm gonna follow you to the eyes. Like, I'm with you all the way. I'm just like, my thing with series is that don't get to a point where you now watch stretch it and then the ending is not that nice. So when the applause is the applause is loud, when people are ending you for the movie, just end there or let us say that it was a nice series. Because that, that was my problem with Game of Thrones. I saw Game of Thrones. I don't like watching series. I said it got to a point where I can get plenty and watch. I don't like waiting till the next year to watch another series. I watched Game of Thrones in 2018. I saw season one to seven at once. Like I got all of them and started watching. So like when season eight came out and I started watching episode by episode and when I saw season eight, I was just like, God. I had um who was changed. I think the producer and director that was changed. I can't remember who was changed, but I was just like, God, this part to bring season eight has all the hype I had for this movie. That's my problem with series. So money I so far has been interesting, but I'm just really worried that people should not go and overdo it. I really like one nice. Then Blacklist, Jesus. Blacklist is one movie that I almost got tired of. Like, I mean, 22 episodes per season, and they are currently done season 1 to 7. They decided to release season 8, but they only released 2 episodes because, I mean, I think it's because of Corona. So they are they waiting till next year, February, to continue. Blacklist is one movie that ugh, I was just like, what is this? Now, who is this ready and saying, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, what is going on? Blacklist stretched. Stressed me, stressed me, made me think a lot. But I think they're my favorite. I think I do like them the most. Them the wedding team and obviously Blues and Skin. Outside like this guy, Aram, like the guy is super nice, super nice, super nice. My favorite. Harold, Harold Cooper is just one. He's a boss that he stands. Everybody should have bosses like that. Bosses are like fathers, are like family. I just love the FBI workforce as a whole. I mean, Blacklist is such an interesting movie. I hope to continue season 8. The last series that I watched, and I'm like, yeah, when you all this, why? Peaky Blinders. Some people actually come up to me to say that Peaky Blinders is not an interesting series. And I'm like, finish season 1 first before you come back and talk to me about it. Peaky Blinders is an interesting movie. I'm currently on season 3. And I was wondering for a long time, I find games season one to four for a long time. I didn't watch it. I because I didn't have time. I sent this series to somebody else and that friend. I started watching finish season one to four. When season one season five I came to Disney. That's when I knew that it's serious at what and it's based on a true life story by the Peaky Blinders in the nineteen seventies, something like that. It's only very nice movie. So these are my best series, American series for the year. Peaky Blinders, the blacklist, and the ice. Oh my god, how could I have forgotten? I would I wanted to add okay, let me add imposters, but there's just two seasons. I don't know why they stopped, but I think that's when I really ended. Like I mean we got to the bottom line of the story. No one like imposters is such an amazing series. It doesn't deserve to be called series because it's just two seasons. 
but it was nice it was nice it was nice and it's lead characters they're the lead girls always um imposed in trying to get into people's lives and get them married and all that she was such a good actress <laughs> cynical valley that movie tested my patience that movie made me learn a lot about business about career about entrepreneurship in fact I should do a video on lessons I learned from Silicon Valley because man, Silicon Valley is such an interesting movie. You should watch it. You should actually watch it. I learned that entrepreneurship is not business. You don't just start cashing out from being an entrepreneur. Whether your one particular product of yours explodes or gets known by everybody or not, you still have to be careful. I'm saying like entrepreneurship. There's no family and friends where people can actually take your idea. They know that it's your idea or they see it in their full chest and do better than you. I also learned that you have to jump smart in the business of entrepreneurship, in the business of having people on your team and having um what is it called investors. You have to be very careful. You have to just be up on your game. You have to be a total package because just like this guy in I've forgotten his name now, I still call that the main guy, the main tech guy. It got to a point where he was betrayed as CEO of his company and was made COO, that's Chief Operation Officer. That's because he knows his game, but he's not good at being um, an admin, a manager, or being... How do I put it now? An executive. He was just, he just did not undo all the admin and executive part of the business. That was my problem with him. He was just not smart enough it was such an amazing movie so yes yeah, some of my best series for yeah I spent like how many minutes talking about movies alone I will do a separate video for my favorite song because I would like to think to play some seconds of the song and I'm using my phone to film now so I can't do that but I'll have to look for a way to answer the particular question in a different video because favorite music comes with favorite gospel artists favorite gospel songs favorite I won't say worldly or secular songs, just normal songs, we write love songs. Just that I like Cash Up. I don't know why, but the beat and the instrumentals and everything about the song just resonates with me. I like Cash Up. <laughs> I like the music one. I will do a separate video on that actually. I feel write books of the year. <laughs> Becoming by Michelle Obama. That book, man. I read that book this year and it was such an amazing book. Smart money okay I, I did a review on smart money woman by rsl Ubu. smart money tribe by rsl Ubu too it's such an amazing book fantastic book guys fantastic book they're actually doing a series they started a series on the book and the movie is just the even the people they picked to actually act those roles i could imagine them acting the role out so well so yes which other favorite book do i like um my pastor's book god's eternal plan by Pastor Christos in Ola Lori, my favorite book of 2020 as well. And there are also some little small books he released this year, like mini books, no more than 30 pages or 20 pages. We released them during the lockdown period. It was, it was from a series called In Gathering, that was during this series, and we converted them into books. I'll probably do a video on that, talking about each. There are also like 10 books. Probably do a, a, a video on that, talking about each book and giving you links on how to get the book. It's free. Those in gathering books are actually free. It talks about things saying in the crazy world when your mother says no as regards your marital spouse, um, why you act the way you do, um, the lion's prey, why good things, are, why bad things happen to good people. Like topics that people actually have issues with in the world currently we talked about them so much insight so much wisdom so much knowledge so those were those were like my favorite books of 2020 as well my favorite cake 2020 i see they're fighting red velvet cake and chocolate cake man the way my game for chocolate up this year i can't even understand i love chocolate a lot they were red velvet too and actually i see the red velvet cake with ice cream god jesus heaven like it gives me this let me just say orgasm. Let's just move. My favorite colors this year. My favorite color was always in blue and purple. We all know that blue always is in a class of its own. But this year, I seem to have a lot of clothes that are green. And just seems always 
tone as well i mean so green is just one color this aside my normal color green blue and purple the green is one color this year that was just trying to get my attention making me fall in love and notice it and all of that my favorite outfit this year of course gowns my love for gowns my love for gowns my love for gowns i'm thinking that 2021 my favorite outfit of 2021 is palazzos and jumpsuits but let's just chill first my favorite gown my favorite outfit is still gown yes my favorite phrase Mm. <laughs> I write phrase for the year that I always like I really really said I don't know why but I was I always said um we move that's because many things were happening this year that I just didn't want to talk about and so for each time these things come I was like we move even when I'm not moving anywhere that's the same for me I would always say we move then favorite another favorite phrase i was always saying was problem solution still with the previous phrase i just gave i mean i had to realize man that problems would never ever happen everybody has problems you cannot be coming and be fine this and be tightening the walls to your chest if everybody were to tighten their problems to their chest we all would all be pregnant right now so problems will be finished while i'll be like bye what twitter life has done to me those were like those were like the phrase i really said a lot this year and that phrase i said a lot this year was god supplies good multiplies because that particular phrase stood true for me and the thing is that i always said them the most like they have money like they have things i just think that god supplies god multiplies nothing can go wrong with god what god cannot do does not exist like ah there's just there's just some things that just just there were just some things that i said a lot this year then what else we talk about favorite books to write favorite ties to bands guys to our gone i just want car like god 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 I also like Chico's album this year. I liked Simi's Restless album. What was that? Optimum Maserati. Oh my god, I like that song a lot. Even though I don't have it. But is that, is that part that says up in my up in my Maserati that I really liked a lot? Because I, I want car. Then. Favorite um, the Esther the this year is my lip cut. I wanted to buy it. I wanted to buy it and cut it before New Year, but I don't know what's going on here. Or I really do not understand. It's like this is not me to create it because God's plan was if you improve, I actually do something about it. But she's proven stubborn. What else? And that phrase I really like this year, like everybody knows that I really said that phrase this year was leave last one month because beginning of this year, I'm with like. We move problem problem will be finished. Leave life and love came from a place of what I've gone through this year, which is nothing compared to what you probably have gone through this year. But everybody has their own problems. So yes, I have to realize that life is so fickle. So whether you're going through a lot or not, just ensure that you live life like that was the last. Just ensure you enjoy this life. Make sure that you laugh. Make sure that you laugh. It's actually easier to laugh than to frown. I don't know if that's true because. I feel like my default setting is only to just carry serious face or frown. But I learned to laugh consciously, to laugh like everything was so funny. I did learn to love this year. And it only did me a lot of good because from loving a lot, I actually um, felt the love around me as well. I don't know if you understand. So I always said, live, laugh, and love this year. And when I am, I came up with some challenges and stuff. My friends always send me texts saying, "Pearl, please don't leave laugh and love." And it just cracks me up. Like God, yes. What else? And that's the social media platform I liked a lot this year. Somehow I just like Twitter. So I happen to like Twitter a lot this year. Like at first I wasn't really reposting or tweeting or anything. I was just liking things and just typing there and all of that. But after I started like, tweeting and I was tweeting people's tweets as well. Twitter is such an amazing person. Like, people that are there, fifty percent of them are not normal. 
and and seriously because that app will put you in trouble that app will drag you that app will just do things but twitter is so amazing like this thing but i just didn't like whatsapp a lot so many times i just see messages and i'm just like i'm already tired before i even answer the messages so yes the video is ending long enough I just enjoyed sitting down here to actually talk about what I liked most. If you write to me, love the year. I'm just saying no dudes or jello fries because I I can barely count how many meals I ate this year. So yes, I like chicken a lot. I ate chicken a lot this year. Oh my god, oh my god, my love for pizza actually increased this year. Oh no, I usually say between shawarma and pizza, I'll go for shawarma more. But this year, I'm trying out pizza at some spot. Probably I will do um what is it called a come with me video to places check out places or eateries and stuff. But I had pizza a lot this year and I really realized that actually I liked pizza. Domino's pizza came to me. I should do a review on that soon. And against all my hype, I really wanted Domino's pizza to be a good deal because I usually, I usually enjoy them in the back. And when they came to me, I don't understand. I just didn't like their services. Not. Not like services, I just didn't like their pizzas. Like against the normal standard and ratings of the news, I just didn't like them. But I actually liked pizza a lot this year. And right now, I'm actually battling for the position of best between pizza and shawarma. Yes, guys, and please have fun to do in this video. I hope that you stay involved and remain blessed. I love you guys so much. Bye.